Okay, I sat through this six hour movie. What the f- Barbenheimer. Here we have this joint venture between Christopher Nolan and Greta Gerwig, Universal Pictures and Warner Brothers, to give us this strange story. It kept jumping all over the place, but from what I could tell, it seems to be a story about Oppenheimer creating the atom bomb, as well as Metal creating Barmy, which I guess was also a metaphorical bomb in the commercial world. Very polar opposite stories to try and mash together, and likewise felt very tonally inconsistent. But I believe the message they were trying to get across was the consequences of your actions, as well as a social commentary on today's society for women. Maybe the creation of the atom bomb led to that? I don't know, didn't make it clear. It's a shame that with two very big directors behind it who have made all of these films, it just didn't seem to find a medium of what sort of story they wanted to tell. Although I did leave the cinema in a state of existential crisis, like double time, so if that's what they were going for, it definitely worked. I thought that the Barbie elements would cancel out the darkness from Oppenheimer's elements, but turns out both main characters made me equally as depressed at times. But outside of the storytelling, the sets were just incredible. Going from 1940s, World War II era sort of designs to this insane toy-like, massively pink world of Barbie land. Just in constant shock and awe every time seeing this isolated town in New Mexico and this isolated town in Barbie land. Still really not sure what Barbie's input was for World War II. I'm wondering if she played a big part behind the physicist that made the atom bomb, maybe. There was an interview with Christopher Nolan that stated that at least for 50% of this movie, there was no CG shots, and that's just incredible. Although I don't really know what 50% that is, because it must have been some insane camera works to make Margot Robbie look 30 feet tall amongst children. The explosion, the atom bomb itself, that Oppenheimer created, was just incredible to watch, and it really paralleled well with the explosive life of Barbie and Ken. I can kind of see what they were trying to do with these two parallels, but they were just so visually different. Also, it felt like Barbie Land should have been blown away by that explosion, maybe? All that happened was Ken going to the hospital on the beach. Musically as well, I couldn't quite get an idea of what they were trying to go for. There was a really powerful score done by Ludwig Garrison, which I thought really clashed with the popular songs from Lizzo and Dua Lipa and Billie Eilish. Well, actually, that last one fit pretty nicely, actually. Also, the, the cast in this, they basically had the whole of Hollywood in this film. In particular, you had Killian Murphy and Margot Robbie playing joint leads as the titular characters, and whilst they didn't interact much with each other, they were both very powerful in this film. Both of them a number of times had some really emotional, intense scenes that really got to me, although I never really was sure as to why these scenes were happening. Was it Oppenheimer reflecting on the creation of Barbie, or was it Barbie learning that the US had just bombed Japan? And equally, the supporting cast was just amazing. I won't list them all because there's easily over a hundred, but in particular, Robert Downey Jr. playing this businessman, I think for metal, Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Ryan Gosling was also just really great playing Ken. I think he gets pulled into the patriarchy of the 1940s, possibly. A very comedic role, which felt out of place half the time, but the other half got me proper belly laughing. But this film was just nearly six hours long. It's just far too long. I had to take a toilet break and a snack break. It was just that long. I had left the theatre, and by the time I came back, we went from Albert Einstein to Barbie on the Beach. Would I recommend this? I mean, the performances are alone were just incredible, even if the story didn't make much sense, so sure. Jokes aside, these films are just incredible in their own ways. There's not really much I can add that you probably haven't heard online already, but I would recommend checking both of these out. Anyways, have you seen Barbenheimer? It's been the fourth busiest weekend in cinema history apparently, so I can imagine most of you already have. If you have, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this weird review, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe and all that, and as always stay tuned for more reviews on movies, anime and video games. Until next time guys, take care, bye bye!